What is going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Salem Sunny, and you are listening to The Mind Speaks. And it's 2018, and yesterday it was the culmination of a whole season of training of games and championships of countless hours of repetitions of drills of working out for the national football league this is an association of professional athletes who play a sport called football and as they gather together to celebrate the two highest best performing team throughout the whole league spending from athletes who've dedicated their whole life to a moment such as this one which is dearly referred to as the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl this year featured two teams, the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles. These two teams have performed quite successfully throughout the whole year. They have beat some other highly performing team as well to find themselves as the only two teams standing in somewhat of a battle of the Titans to win the elusive, most coveted Lombardi Trophy. And for those of you guys who aren't familiar with uh, this understanding of what is going on in the U.S., Lombardi Trophy is something that is highly coveted. Uh, There are kids who grew up their whole life dreaming that one day they can be uh, Super Bowl champions and MVPs, people who work out since kindergarten, enter a peewee league and go to play in middle school and high school. They go play uh, college football and then become uh, professionals. And even in becoming professionals, it takes many times for you to go on a team that has all the right pieces together for you to find yourself to have the opportunity to win. But all that is good, but that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about doing whatever it takes to win. Doing whatever it takes to win. Here's the reality. Sometimes you got to do whatever it's going to take for you to get to the success that you're looking for. To set the scene a little bit to what was going on is the New England Patriots came in as a favorite. Everybody looked at him, everybody knew Tom Brady and the fire offers that he brings. It was just one of those situations where everybody said, okay, yes, these guys are going to win it. These guys are going to take it all the way in. But the crazy part with that is, as they were all trying to take it all the way in, they were faced with one crazy situation, which is this. They had in front of them a team that was willing to do whatever it took. So it came down to one play. To give you guys an understanding of the the intensity of the game, it was basically a tight game with about two minutes left. And then Philadelphia was able to get a touchdown But for themselves, to give themselves a seven-point difference, what they ended up doing was they ended up wanting to go for a two-point conversion, and that failed. And because of that, New England could come back and by scoring would be able to win. And one thing that was quite interesting was it was a defensive play. I think one of the left tackles, as Tom Brady uh, when is his usual self did the first play and the first play ended up in so as Tom Brady got the ball it was hiked he drew back to trying to scan the field to try to look for his receiver or the best refers he will uh, try to throw the ball through when he was motioning bringing his hand backward to trying to bring it forward poof, he got hit by one of the players Grant from the Eagles who knocked the ball out of his hand he fumbled on the ground and then he was scooped up by one of the uh, receive one of the the, the corners actually from uh, I think it wasn't a corner one of the it was re, it was actually picked up by one of the other players of the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles and this was a turnover so now the ball was going from the Patriots hand all the way back to New England by doing so, that shifted the whole momentum of the game. Even though the Patriots ended up having the ball back, it was basically there was barely no time left. They had to do a Hail Mary and basically lost on the Hail Mary because the ball was batted down. 
But something that is quite interesting in the midst of all that, when I look, one thing that keeps coming back to my head is Philly did whatever it took to win. Sometimes you have to realize that they're not coming to help you. Like, as I remember, Philadelphia was jumped ahead in the game. They were really ahead by a pretty large margin, and they were about to win. They were about to accomplish all these different things. And it seemed like the history was repeating itself again. Tom Brady was coming back to win. And guess what happened? Philadelphia had to do whatever it had to do, whatever it takes to stop the guy. If not, it was going to be... 2016 2017 all over again when the Falcon the Atlanta Falcon thought that they were so safe being so far ahead that they wouldn't have to worry about the Patriots coming back because they were it was 28 to 3 and ended up losing why because they did not do whatever it took listen they're not coming to help you they're not coming to help you. That's the re- the thing that you have to understand. And I wanted to, I want to share this mindset because I was thinking about this the other day. And I was like, why did, why did the Eagles win? The Eagles won because they understood something. Listen, as much as our fans and other teams are hating on the Patriots, the Patriots they exude a level of excellence in their play. The only way to beat those type of individuals is to do whatever you got to do to win because the other teams, the other fans who are who are cheering against the Patriots, they're not necessarily going to come on the field and help you win. They're not coming. They're, they're never going to come. So you got to do whatever it takes to win. It's the same thing in your life. Like you, like I think in my life for so long I've been complaining about some things not turning out the way I wanted them to do. Some things not giving the fruits that I wanted to do. So much frustration had gone on for so many years, and I had to tell myself, Salem, they're not coming to help you. They're never going to come. They're not coming to help you. They're not going to give you, extend that hand for you, for the things to change, for your people to be free. They're not going to let you go. They're not going to, they're never going to stop putting the pressure on you to keep you down. Guess what you got to do? You got to do whatever it takes. You know, I I was thinking, I was, I was thinking of the Batman movie. For those of you guys who are familiar with the Batman movie, this is one particular story uh, of the Batman movie where Christian Bell, who plays Batman in the movie, he finds himself in a particular cage where he's basically he's being beaten and thrown in this prison, and this prison is in this is in this big uh, whale or cave underground that is so hard. Many have tried to reach out of it and failed. For multiple times he tried to climb out of it and failed. He tried to climb out of it and failed. He tried to climb out of it and failed. And in this particular time, guess what? This particular time he said, this time I'm going and I'm going to make it. And you know he, the, the movie shows the scene that he goes and like the, the, the other inmates are looking at him. They're cheering him on, cheering him on, cheering him on. And he goes and makes it to the end. It's just a very big, powerful moment. They're, they're cheering. The music is on point. You feel all the emotion. It's just very grandiose and very epic. It is something I learned when I was watching that moment. There are some few things that we get so caught up in the epicness of the event of the scene that we forget some very very important details that Batman did or Christian Bell playing Batman in that particular state or playing uh, Bruce Wayne something that was interesting is right before he was about to do this last attempt to give it all there's there's a scene in the movie where he packs his belonging like he literally packs his clothes or whatever he had with him and puts in his shoulder basically saying i'm not coming back i'm taking all that i have with me and i'm going with it and i think some of us are, are playing it safe a little bit like we're not we're not burning the bridges there's a story that was once said that some of uh, of the first explorers that came from portugal when they they came and they wanted to discover the, the uh, what you would say, quote unquote, new world, 
which was like Brazil and the other places, some of the some of the the, the explorers of the time, what they would come is, they, it, it, there's one general that's famous known for saying, when he came, after his troops and his crew came down the boat, they burned the boat. <laughs> they burned their boat, basically saying that there's no way for us to go back. All we gotta do is go forward. So some of us have to cut the ties with whatever had had been tying us to the past would have been giving us that kind of like well i don't want to completely jump into this new thing i don't want to completely give myself to this relationship i don't want to to be completely accept what god's will for my life is so i'm gonna kind of give leave this like little door this little opening for in case it doesn't work well that doesn't work like that unfortunately true success only comes when you get to a point of no return and you pack your stuff because you ain't coming back. But you have to make a decision that I'm not coming back to the situation. I mean, I'm not going back to that detrimental situation. I'm not going back to that sense of lack of poverty, to that sense of not being loved, to that sense of being abused, to that relationship that's abusive, to that person that's manipulative. I'm not going back to sin. I'm not going back to the things of the past. I'm deciding to change. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm gonna take. I'm going to take all my things with me and go. So as we're coming back to this particular scene again of the movie, we see Bruce Wayne, played by Christian Bale. We see, we see Batman climbing out. He makes it all the way to the top of this prison underground cave place. He makes it there. And something that's crazy, there was a rope that was right at the top guess what he does it's a short scene he takes the rope and throws it back <laughs> such a powerful scene he takes the rope and throws it back so that the people that he left can now find somebody to come help them guess what Batman understood there ain't nobody gonna throw the rope for me I gotta make up my mind no one is coming they're not coming Right, I mean, listen, I know this might be hurtful for some people, but let me just tell you straight up. They're not coming to help you. No one is coming. So you're going to have to do what you're going to have to do. You're going to do, want to do whatever it takes to get to the success that you want because they're not coming. They're not coming to help you. So you're going to have to do what you're going to have to do. You're going to finally have to take the courage and say, God, I'm finally going to obey you. I'm going to trust you more than what my bank account said. I'm going to trust you more than what the circumstances say. I'm going to trust you more than what the doctor said. I'm going to trust you more than what my family, my society, my social conditioning, my social class says. Because they're not coming to help. So I got to do what I got to do. Some of us, our families are waiting for us to make it to the top and then throw the rope back. Some of us are waiting for our parents, our aunties, and all these people for us to finally make it so we can throw the rope back. Are you going to make it? Are you going to make it back or is this just going to be one of those, again, a situation that, well, whatever happens, happens. You understand, my brother? No. Or are you going to actually do whatever it takes to create a different world for you and your family? Your marriage, your wife, your spouse depend on you. Your city depend on you. Some of you guys, your country depend on you. You have a whole generation who is expecting you to step up and to do what you were called to do. That's my message for you today. Remember, you guys very best.